Yes, yes. So I've been watching this show also. I've been actually following it for like a couple of years. I didn't, I, I kind of got in it in the second season, so I had to go back and watch the first season after that. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> unusual, you know, experience, but uh, anyway, the show that I'm talking about is called Servant by M. Night Shyamalan. You know, I think it's good that Shyamalan made this cross into, let's say, TV. <laughs> uh, you know, a, a show, he made a show. Because, you know, his last movies were not that great, and uh, he just seems to seem to struggle to come up with a really good one, like, you know, the old ones, the classics, you know, uh, like Seventh Sense, or, or was it Sixth, Sixth Sense, actually, um, the signs, and even the village was kind of good. Um, yeah, so... I actually also like the lady in the water, I must, might add. <laughs> and the happening was hmm, so so. But after that, it was mostly, yeah, no, not so good movie that he made. I haven't actually seen them all, but uh, yeah. Anyway, this show is, uh, I believe, kind of, you know, reminds you of Roman Polanski's movies because it's kind of based in a, in a, like, a Victorian house, I believe it's called. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's all on one street that, I mean, most of the action happened in one street, and in, in that one house, which is surrounded by other houses also. Uh, yeah, so, uh, there are a lot of interior shots, a lot of dark shots, darkness, or have darkness, which serves really well. I mean, it really complements the whole story very well because it's a dark story. You know, it's a, it's what he does. <laughs> night, what he does best. I mean. So this, I'm not gonna waste too much time on the synopsis. You know, it's mostly what I see it. Uh, what I see as a central theme is actually how certain religious uh, groups or people can exploit somebody who is in a crisis. So the you might say perhaps the most central character in this story is Dorothy. Dorothy is a woman who has lost her baby and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is never really shown uh, exactly what happened. That's the most interesting thing, I believe. It is never clearly shown how that baby died. But what we do know is that she did have something to do with it. I mean, it did happen due to her sort of a neglig negligence um, because she was going through a difficult time, you know. And... Uh, you know, and after birth depression, and it was a very hot summer, and her husband was away, far away in Los Angeles, and uh, her brother, who is really well played by Rupert Grint, Julian, he's like, a, you know, he's got tons of problems, you know, with drugs and alcohol and all that. So, uh, of course, Dorothy is also very well played by Lauren Ambrose, who some of you may know from uh, Six Feet Under. And she just has the perfect look for this character. I mean, everybody is so well cast, but especially Dorothy and uh, the other leading female actress here, which who is... Uh, Called Nell Tiger Free as far as I know, very unusual name, but she's also very, she's pretty good. I mean, she's very charismatic also. So she plays Leanne, and through most of this show, is it's implied that she does possess some sort of 
you know, supernatural powers. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna spoil it too much. But in the end, uh, well, there's one more episode to go, I believe. In the last one, before uh, the eighth episode of the last fourth season, we we discovered that uh, you know. Not everything is what these people thought it was. I mean, she's not what they thought she was anyway. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, the husband is also played by a pretty familiar actor, Toby Cabell. Um, also, I mean, all are really great in their parts. Wonderful. <sighs> so, uh, but I think the most challenging, most demanding uh, roles are those played by the two females, uh, female, <laughs> two leading females, Lauren Ambrose and Mel Tiger Free. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what happened? What is also very interesting that, uh, the character of Leanne, she is like, uh, she is more or less escape this terrible cult that is kind of so, so supposed to be a Christian cult but is very like actually has certain uh, you know <laughs> very occult uh, leanings obviously really scary people though. so uh, terrible terrible people <laughs> so she uh takes residence there as the nanny of the, of the family you know. um, when she arrives there she is told because she immediately recognized that the baby is not a baby but a doll in fact so uh, the husband tells her Sean he tells her the truth that actually they lost the baby and since the wife Dorothy was in a catatonic state because of that, uh, they were, I uh, guess, advised by a doctor or somebody, a uh, psychiatrist, to just try with a doll, you know, to just, it's uh, it's, it's very interesting, the whole thing with this, uh, with this plot. It's about mind the tricks, like, you know, it's very, like, uh, <laughs> Make believe, you know. I mean, it's, it's uh, there's a lot of this whole show seems to be about mind deception, actually, which is, that's the central thing. And uh, also, Leanne, she's like kind of uh, at first, you see, we see her as a victim, you no know, more or less, but uh, after that, we just begin to see her, especially in this last season, more and more as this really dark and, uh, you know, damaging kind of force, uh, you know, yeah, a dark and uh, almost demonic kind of figure who is out to simply find her own, like, place under the sun or her own uh, home while pretending to be something she's not simple as that so uh in order to because she knows that this will make her place in their home more you know secure <laughs> i'll put it that way she actually well i'm not gonna go to the spoilers anyway, but she does produce a baby for these people for the family a real one so it uh, really kind of helps uh, this woman Dorothy uh, get better and get back to work actually because she's a, a famous uh, uh, news anchor anchor woman so yeah anyway uh, it's just uh, really I mean almost every episode I so enjoyable to me it was such a such a great thrill a ride you know, uh, to watch and uh, yeah I mean uh, 
the actors are just really so good and believable and uh, there are some really top-notch actors also appearing in supporting roles and or uh, guest roles such as the guy who plays the so-called uncle george he's a really tremendous actor yeah so uncle george also at first when he appears there he comes from that same cult where leanne escaped from he is there to try to convince her to come back so for when he first appears he looks terrible his teeth are all you know uh, disgusting he is very you know dirty young camp man an older man like i don't know 50s 60s early 60s maybe i don't know how old he is i guess he's in his late 50s or something so you know but uh it's very unclear what his role is at first and uh actually until the very end but he does seem to want to help this family actually he wants to help them and he knows what actually or who Leanne is and what she's doing here, what she's really doing here. well you know Leanne seems to find her this a new home and uh, she's she's happy you know she seems to find her paradise for a while anyway but then you know because of who she is you know and her nature and all that she uh, starts to come to uh, conflict conflict with dorothy especially sometimes the others but mostly dorothy because she almost starts to for a while there in season three it looks like she's a wants to take over actually as the woman of the house instead of dorothy or alongside her and <laughs> so dorothy won't have any of that and she tries to send her away and stuff and shit happens so uh, yeah anyway this is a really great show i mean if you have apple tv i really recommend you to watch it unless you are you know somebody who has gone through similar stuff or the same kind of trauma as dorothy you don't want to watch it i fully understand this is not a show for faint-hearted definitely but it's not really a show that will really kind of creep you out you know on the other hand that's what i like about it because even people who are not fan of like horror and hardcore fans you know that stuff they can watch it just you know if they don't have too thin <laughs> nerves you know they can definitely watch it but uh i mean if you do have kind of if you are very sensitive then maybe you should not watch it because it is a, you know a show which uh there are certain amounts of violence and uh seemingly supernatural things happening and uh, a lot of suspense a lot of jumpy moments you know and uh <laughs> put it that way it makes you know <laughs> so but anyway there is a lot of stuff to enjoy also a lot of uh, suspense the twists you know in the story and the great acting as i said everything really great direction screenplay and yeah kudos to mr shaman <laughs> so yeah those were some things that i wanted to say about this show it's actually become probably my favorite show right now but sadly it's now coming to an end but anyway it had to happen i guess you know sooner or later but yeah unlike some other shows you know who i know another show who lasted four seasons and that's killing Eve, and that one kind of really disappointed me in the end the very last season was not very good and uh yeah but this one just keeps going strong until the end <laughs> so yeah really great one to watch especially if you like these gothic movies like you know with these elements you know tra traditional horror elements but this is more like a a thriller drama psychological thriller drama 
definitely so there you have it. the servant on apple tv watched